In order to succeed in the new world and protect the prosperity of many people, including those outside the group, at our business partners and suppliers, Volkswagen has to change utterly," wrote Heba Dees on LinkedIn, chairman of Volkswagen Group, on November 28, 2020. In my previous video about the future of the German automotive industry, I mentioned why it is so hard for an industry that is still enjoying admirable success to transform itself due to complacency, and that is also why a scrappy startup called Tesla, starting from ground zero, breaking all the rules, can take everyone by surprise. This story that will continue today fascinates me not just because of what happened, but also that just as computer programs and software are important in electric vehicles, the mindset of people is important in our ability to leapfrog too. The frontrunner among all the German brands in this race to conquer the electric car market is Volkswagen. Under the leadership and vision of Hebe Dies, Volkswagen started manufacturing ID3 in November 2019, shipping the model in September 2020. By December 2020, Volkswagen ID3 was already outselling Tesla in Europe thanks to the $12,000 lower price tag. This success for Volkswagen didn't come without sacrifice, though. Volkswagen had to decide shipping the car without some key features, including the remote software update feature. In comparison, every software update in Tesla cars is remote and pushed through the air. The future cars are no longer running on combustion engines, they are computers on wheels. What future cars require are not just the hardware, but also the software. Right now, Volkswagen decided to take the Android route, sourcing parts from its ecosystem partners and vendors and relying on legacy software. To build its industrial cloud for factories, Volkswagen teamed up with Amazon Web Services or AWS. For the automotive cloud connecting its cars, it works with Microsoft. And for the cockpit experience and in-car applications, Volkswagen turned to Continental. That is already three different vendors for many, many touch points. Compared to that, Tesla took the iOS route, vertically integrating everything from chips to batteries to the software that is designed to optimize the hardware performance. Volkswagen decided to tackle this critical integration of different kinds of hardware and software in-house by themselves under the umbrella of VW.OS. This is the central operating system of the car. This is no easy task, and in order to refocus on these new software-related projects, Volkswagen had to cut 7,000 jobs. Although it promised to replace them with 2,000 software engineering jobs, Volkswagen encountered major union pushback. Unfortunately, the complexity of this task was still underestimated, and Volkswagen couldn't make the remote software update feature work before the launch, so the first 50,000 ID3 they had shipped would have to come back to service centers at least once for future software updates. Because of this setback, Volkswagen replaced the head of the software division, Christian Zenger, with Dirk Hürgenberg, former executive from BMW, who decided to jump ship because he was so frustrated with BMW's reluctance to embrace electric vehicles. This feature of over-the-air software update will be shipped together with ID4, which is Volkswagen's next electric vehicle model. The other side of the story is the hardware. Since the focus now shifts to computing for the cars, the demand for semiconductors also soared. During the pandemic, the automotive industry all over the world dropped chipped orders due to the weakened demand, but now the demand is back up. Many automakers find themselves without chips and have to halt the production because the chips are used up in handheld devices, game consoles, and computers that were selling like hotcakes in lockdowns. 
Former U.S. President Trump's ban on Chinese tech companies further squeezed the already troubled worldwide supply chain of chip supplies. Companies may no longer order chips to be manufactured in China, and that demand can only be fulfilled by very few companies in the world now, such as Taiwan's TSMC. Thanks to the partnership with Apple for their A14 chips, TSMC now has a leading edge in the capacity for 5 nanometer technology, and TSMC is to produce 3 nanometer chips in volume in 2022. Right now, only one semiconductor company in the world can produce capable chips for the cars, TSMC. Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, which is the world's largest chip foundry, also manufactures the AI chip, which is the brain for self-driving cars, for Tesla. The other AI chips for cars are designed by NVIDIA, Qualcomm, or Intel. None of these companies German. So guess who manufactures these AI chips except for Intel's? Mm-hmm, TSMC. And this is the real choke point of the future of the German automotive industry. While it tries to pave the path for the German self-driving cars, it is still falling behind in terms of hardware and software integration or designing the brain for the cars. Germany's business minister, Peter Altmaier, was putting pressure on the Taiwanese government so the German automotive industry can jump the line in getting some TSMC chips. May I suggest Herr Altmaier urge the German government to intervene in supplying Taiwan some BioNTech vaccines. Taiwan, one of the best countries in fighting COVID, is having trouble securing vaccines, possibly due to political reasons. Chips for vaccines seem like a win-win deal, at least until Germany can produce its own chips. Even though the EU has just signed a huge trade deal with China, and China will be a huge market for the EU, without the chips or technology supplier that the German automotive industry needs, there will be no cars to be sold to the Chinese consumers. The global transformation in the industry will take roughly 10 years, with or without Volkswagen. Hebe Dies also wrote this on LinkedIn. If the software can be optimized, maybe our mindset can be updated too. Is Germany ready for the leap?